Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mercy here. <laughs> hey guys, it's Mercy here. I'm a Caribbean YouTuber based in Douala. Guys, if this is your first time of seeing this face, thank you so so much for tuning in to my channel. You are so so welcome. So today's video, I'm going to be trying the products i won for my giveaway okay if you haven't seen that video please i'll leave a link somewhere on the screen please check it out so a couple of weeks ago i won a giveaway from a cameroonian youtuber her name is ella mojoko so since then i have not done any tutorial on that i've not tried the products before like i have not even touched them so today i was just like okay let me do something about it so Today's tutorial is all about the products, okay? The eye shadow I use is from the palette she sent to me. And this is one of the palettes she sent. It is from Prep and Perfect. And she, I think she bought it from Primark. This is how the eyeshadow looks like. Guys, this eyeshadow is super pigmented i'm not going to lie it applies so well it blends so well you can use like your brush or even your fingers guys this palette is just the bomb.com and i'm so happy i was able to win it i'm i'm like i'm so so happy you guys so the eyeshadow everything about the eyes is from this palette and i love this palette so so much thank you girl next thing i use from this giveaway is the hydrating primer primer is good for dry skin if you have dry skin this is the perfect primer it is so hydrating so moisturizing let's know that your girl is like an oily girl so what i did was i used it like as a moisturizer and uh, applied my normal mattifying primer my pons primer okay especially on my t-zone where i tend to get oily so easily but yeah this primer i love this primer as a moisturizer for me but not like you know a mattifying primer for me so this primer is good <laughs> i know you guys you are looking at my face i think the first thing you notice is your face is too like too um white your face doesn't blend with your neck and all of that yes guys she sent me a foundation this foundation is not my shade at all i when i when i received it i was so so excited that oh my god i got a new foundation but this foundation is just not my skin tone uh it is in the shade um i think it's caramel this foundation was way too light for my skin so what i did was i added another darker foundation at least to tone down <laughs> the whiteness and you guys you guys just bear with me on this look okay i know this is not the normal look it doesn't look natural you guys know that i'm a natural girl but yeah we're just trying this for the first time and you know you know <laughs> you want to see how i got this look please keep watching and um, please don't forget to subscribe like and share and all that good stuff don't forget to turn on the post notification that shows up after you click the subscribe button so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video so without further ado let's go ahead and start so guys hello so i'm going to i'm just going to move straight by moisturizing my lips and i'm using my vaseline to do that and i'm just applying that all over my lips so next we're going to move into the eyeshadow palette and i'm taking that yellow shade so i'm just going to apply that above my crease and you know it's like as a traditional shade guys traditional shades are shades that help other eyeshadow we're going to apply uh, blend so well so I'm just adding products and blending adding and blending until you're satisfied with the color you're applying okay so you guys know the step already I'm just taking my concealer it's going to 
help the lip color I'm going to apply on my lid have something to stick to and make it more vibrant and I'm just gently blending that on my eyelids and I'm going to be taking this pink color as my lip color guys is so pigmented you guys okay so yeah I'm just applying that on my lid area and I'm taking it gently you know just adding the product until I'm satisfied and for this look I gently push it <laughs> a bit on my crease you guys So to add some depth in my outer corner, I'm going to be taking that dark shade. I'm not putting too much, I'm not applying too much rather. So I'm just applying that at the outer corner and make sure everything is well blended. I'm not pushing it right into my crease, but just at the outer corner. So to make sure everything is well blended, I'm going to go back to that orange shade and just add more of the product and make sure the outer corner is well blended. Now to prep my lashes or my eyelash, I'm just going to apply some mascara. So I did my eyelashes, my forces off camera. So I'm just going to use that um, black pencil liner to just uh, hide, <laughs> to cover up the, to cover up the glue guys don't mind me I was just there was this Nigerian music that was playing and I just enjoyed it and I just got distracted okay just you know that shebang <laughs> guys moving on to the face I'm just going to use that hydrating primer and I'm applying that all over my face guys this primer is so so good as a moisturizer if you have oily if you have dry skin rather it's good for dry skin people and yeah i'm just pressing it into my skin guys if you see me looking beside i was watching a movie as well and i'm just shaking my head because i really loved it so guys you guys know that i am an oil skin girl so i'm just using my pons mattifying primer and i'm just applying that only on my t-zone areas next we're going to apply foundation and this foundation is in the shade caramel and you guys it was not my shade at all but yeah i just had to use it for this tutorial you guys it's not my shade so i just went ahead and used my beauty blender and i'm just blending everything out so you guys can see it's not my shade at all it's like two shades lighter than my skin so oh my god but yeah, I just went ahead for the sake of this tutorial and you guys, I just blended everything out, guys. Oh my god, it's so light. <laughs> oh my guys, Messi is kind of disappointed, but there's always a way out. So I went ahead and used my Revlon Colors Color Steel uh, Foundation in the shade Cappuccino. This shade is two shade darker than my skin tone and it just blended a little bit perfect it helped out to tone down the white tish nature of that face foundation yeah so guys I'm um, just going ahead and highlight with my illegal pro concealer in fun and you guys know these steps already so right now I'm applying my I'm setting my face with my setting powder you know those areas where I highlighted and at this point I'm doing some light contour like a powder contour on those places where I did not highlight it's just going to add some definition to the face and right now I'm using my pressed powder from Milani in the shade deep and just applying that all over my face to set my face so um, to set my face again I'm using my setting spray and I'm just moving on to blush this is my uh, Saharan Volume 2 palette by Julia's Place. This is one of my favorite, favorite go-to blush. It's so subtle, I just love it. And I'm still using the same palette to highlight, okay? My cheekbones, my, uh, the bridge of my nose, and you guys know this trail already. So yeah.
so I'm just lining my lips now with this regular um, lip pencil I bought from the market I think just 100 francs and it's so so cute guys so I'm using my NYC lingerie um, lip gloss in the shade Lipply. I'm just applying it all over my lips uh, it is a mattifying lipstick so I went ahead and applied a lip gloss this is a clear lip gloss and it looks so gorgeous I love this look so yeah guys what do you think about this look all products are from Primark not all products anyway though but yeah I really enjoy creating this look don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and let me know your thoughts on this look and yeah continue to be your own best friend i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys bye Mwah.